My name's Maggie Davis, I'm the Consumer Editor of Time Out. And I'm here to give you my top tips on shopping in London. My first top tip is to avoid all the tourist traps, Oxford Street, Covent Garden, and all those other touristy places. I would say head to the East End on a Sunday morning. There are three fantastic markets. Spitalfields, um, Columbia Road Flower Market and Brick Lane. One of the great streets of Brick Lane is Cheshire Street um, and here you will find two of our favourite shops, Beyond Retro which specialises in really fun, funky retro clothing and then Labour and Weight at the other end which specialises in traditional English hardware from fantastic watering cans to the perfect apron. My second tip is to head into London's historical retail heartland where you'll find a really interesting mix of different historical shops from German Street where all the great shirt makers are to Savile Row where you'll find about 10 bespoke tailors left, some of them dating back about 300 years. You also of course have Bond Street, one of the most famous shopping streets in the UK which has a mix of really fascinating uh, designer shops and some really old shops as well and jewellers. After all of that you'll of course be exhausted and I would heartily recommend a nice traditional cup of tea and scones at Fortnum and Mason. My next tip is to head out to visit some of London's neighbourhood shops. Angel in Islington has a really good diverse mix. You not only have Upper Street which is full of independent shops but you have Camden Passage which is full of really interesting little antique shops and markets and it's really buzzy first thing in the morning when all the dealers lay out their wares and you can pick up some great treasures and trinkets. Over on the other side of London, Portobello Road, probably one of the most famous markets in London, is definitely best visited on a Friday morning, um, quite early. It's when you're going to find the bargains. It's when all the fashion designers go and all the experts, and you may even spot the old model or two. My final tip is to head to Marylebone High Street, which is the archetypal London high street with a really good selection of well-known brand names but also quirky independence and good places to eat. But most importantly, it leads to one of London's best department stores, Selfridges, which has over five floors of fashion and food and technology down in the basement. And if men still aren't impressed by the vast selection of high-definition TVs there, there's nearby Tottenham Court Road where you can buy every conceivable gift. These have been my top tips for shopping in London. And remember, look out for those bargains because there are plenty to be had.